Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment. You stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary they shall not pass over. Neither they shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sings springs into the valley. The waters shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst. They shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth, and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil, and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrow shall make their tents, the house of the heron shall take the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for the seasons, the sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night, wherein the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor into evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth shall be filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you, and you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless, so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> for the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbytery, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the present, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. He 
Υπέρ τη πόλεω τα τη πάση πόλεω χώρα και των πίστικων των ναυτέ του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησο, υπέρ ευκρασία αέρων εφορία των καρπών τη γη και καιρών ειρηνικών του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Υπέπλεον των οδηπορούν των νοσούν των καμνών των εκμαλώτων και τη σωτηρία αυτών του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησον, υπέτρι στην ημά σου από πάση θλίψιο, οργή κινδύνου και ανάγκη του κυρίου δε ηθόμε. Κύριε Λέησον, Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησων και διαφύλαξων ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Κύριε Λέησον, της Παναγίας αχράντου υπευλογημένης εν δόξου δεσποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και αη Παρθένο Μαρίας με τα πάντων των Αγίων μημιονεύσοντες. Ε αυτούς και αλλήλους και πάσαν την ζωή νημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Η Κυρία, ότι πρέπει σι πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκυνήσει στο Πατρί και το Υιό και το Αγιο Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. and the presence of their pleasures. Their judges are swallowed up by the rock. They shall hear my words, for they are pleasant as a clod of ground is dashed to pieces on the earth. So their bones were scattered beside the grave. For my eyes, O Lord, O Lord, are toward you. In you I hope take not away my soul. Keep me from the snares they set for me, and from the stumbling blocks of those who work lawlessness. Sinners shall fall into your own net. I am alone until I escape. I cry to the Lord with my voice, with my voice I pray to the Lord. I shall pour out my supplication before him. I shall declare my affliction in his presence. When my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my path. For on the way I was going, they hid a trap for 
before me. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me. I looked on the re refuge failed me, and there was no one who cared for my soul. I cried to you, O Lord, I said you are my hope and my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my supplication, for I was humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. <clears throat> if you will learn to mark transgression, O Lord, who shall stand? For there is forgiveness with you. The cross is exalted now, and it invites all creation to praise the immaculate passion of the Lord who was lifted upon it. For it, for when he slew there on him who had murdered us, he gave life again to us the dead and made us the beautiful, and he granted us to be citizens of heaven as compassionate due to his exceeding benevolence. Therefore let us greatly rejoice as we exalt his holy name, and let us magnify his divine extreme condescension to us. Because of your law, Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. The cross is exalted now and invites all creation to praise the immaculate passion of the Lord who was lifted up on it. For when he showed there on him who had murdered us, he gave life again to us the dead and made us beautiful and he created us to be citizens of heaven as compassionate. Due to his exceedingly benevolence, therefore let us greatly rejoice as we exalt his holy name, and let us magnify his divine extreme condescension to us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch till night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Moses once prefigured you when he extended his arms up and he routed utterly Amalek the tyrant king. O oh, most precious cross, believers' pride and joy, martyrs, athletes, support the apostles' badge of ornament, defenders of the just and preser preservation of the devout, and all creation seeing you lifted high is therefore rejoicing now, and is celebrating and glorifying Christ who was brought through you, uniting those that were separate in his extreme benevolence. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his transgressions. Moses once prefigured you when he extended his arms up, 
and he routed utterly Amalek, the tyrant king, O most precious cross. The believers, pride and joy, martyr athletes support. The apostles, badge and ornament, defender of the just, and the preservation of the devout. And all creation seeing you, lifted high is therefore rejoicing now. And is celebrating and glorifying Christ who has through you united those that were separate in his extreme benevolence. Praise the Lord, all you, gen all you Gentiles, praise him, all you peoples, O cross most revered by all, and which the orders of angels joyously surround today at your exaltation now. By divine command you exalt everyone you had be, who had been evicted and who fell completely into death for having stolen fruit. Therefore we are faithfully kissing you with hearts and lips caressing you and thus are deriving the sanctity and shouting exalt Christ the Lord our God who is exceedingly good and also worship and venerate his divine foots to the cross. For his mercy rules over us and the truth of the Lord endures forever. O cross most favored all in which the orders of the angels Joyously surround today at your exaltation now. By divine command you exalt everyone who had been evicted and who fell completely into death. For having stolen fruit, therefore we are faithfully kissing you with hearts and lips caressing you and thus are deriving the sanctity and shouting, Exalt Christ, the Lord our God, who is exceedingly good, and also worship and venerate his divine footstool, the cross. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Oh, oh, oh. 
Esperas prokimenon. You are my protector, O God. Your mercy shall be go before me. You are my protector, O God. Your mercy shall go before me. Rescue me from my enemies, O God, and redeem me from those who rise up against me. You are my protector, O oh God. Your mercy shall go before me. The reading is from the book of Exodus. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur. They went three days in the desert and found no water to drink. Now when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore he named this place Bitterness. Then the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made a statue and an ordinance for them. There he proved him and said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is pleasing in his sight, Give ear to his commandments and keep all his ordinances. I will put none of the diseases on you that I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord your God who heals you. Then they came to Elim, where there were twelve fountains of water and seven palm trees, so they camped there by the waters. Now they journeyed from Elim, and all the congregation of the children of Israel came to the wilderness of Sin, which is between Elim and Sinai. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. My son, 
Do not despise the instruction of the Lord, neither grow weary under his reproof. From whom the Lord, for whom the Lord loves, he instructs and chastises every son he receives. Blessed is a man who finds wisdom and a mortal who sees discernment. For the profits gained from wisdom are better than the treasures of gold and silver. And wisdom is more valuable than precious stones, and nothing evil will withstand her. She is well known to all who come near her, and no honor is worthy of her. For length of days and years of life are in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and glory. Righteousness proceeds from her mouth, and she carries law and mercy upon her tongue. Her ways are good ways, and all her paths are in peace. She is a tree of life for all who cleave unto her, and she is security for those who lean upon her. As upon the Lord. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day or night to bring you the power of the Gentiles and their kings leading them. For the nations and their kings who will not serve you shall perish, and those nations will be utterly desolate. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you with the cypress, the pine, and the cedar together to glorify my holy place. The sons of those who humbled and provoked you shall go to you in fear, and you shall be called the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel, because you are forsaken and hatred, and there is no one to help you. Therefore I will make you an eternal joy, the gladness of generations to generations. You shall drink milk of the Gentiles and eat the wealth of kings. You shall know him that I am the Lord who saves you. And the God of Israel who delivers you. Let us say with our, all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord have mercy. Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for bias and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexius. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our brethren, the priests, to hear amongst the here, deacons, the monastics, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians, residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who here and been piously laid to rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who labor and those who sing, and for the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you're a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O oh Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hand. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 
αντιλάβου όσων ελέγχουν και διαφύλαξαν εμά ο Θεό τη η χάρη τη. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian into our life, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Das ke falasi mon to kiri o klino me. Ti to kratos tis vasilias su evlogimen on ki de doxos men on tu patros ki tu iu ki tu agiu pneb matos nin ki ai ki Jesus e onas to ne ono. Amen. Rejoice, life-bearing cross of the Lord of true religion. The invincible monument, the door to the blessed garden, support for those who believe, and the churches with wall of defense all around. Corruption has vanished and is abolished because of you. Through you the power that was death has been swallowed up, and from earth have we been exalted to the heaven's heights. Panoply unassailable, opponent of demons all, the martyr's glory that truly adorns devout ascetic saints, the port of salvation. O oh, oh, precious cross bestowing great mercy to the world. Exalt the Lord our God and worship out of his footstool of his feet. Rejoice, O oh, precious cross of the Lord. Through you mankind has been released from the primal curse, the sign indicating true joy. O oh, wood respected by all in your exaltation, cursing enemies. For us you are help in need and the strength of the emperors, might of the righteous and dignity of the priests. For when you are signed, you redeem us from miseries. Rod of the power from above, by which 
which we are shepherded, the shield of peace that the angels in fear attend to respect quality, divine holy glory of the Master Christ, who grants his great mercy to the world. As our King before the ages, he worked salvation in the midst of the earth. Rejoice, you are the guide for the blind, the physician of the sick, O oh, most precious cross, and also the resurrection of all who died, lifting up all of us who had succumbed to corruption. Corruption has been destroyed, and incorruptibility through you has blossomed, and we mortals were deified, and the slanderer has been utterly stricken down. Seeing you lifted up today in the hands of the hierarchs, we in turn now exalt him who was exalted by means of you. Not bowing before you, we adore you, and great mercy we draw abundantly. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen, that which Moses of old prefigured in himself, and thereby struck down and routed, Lord, now you're letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agios, oteos, agios, iskidos, agios, atantos, celestinimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, love, forgive our sins, master, pardon our transgression. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Lord is the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and through the ages of ages. Amen. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and through the ages of ages. Amen. Save, O Lord, O Lord, your, your people, people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to the faithful against the adversaries of the faith and protect your people through your holy cross, your holy cross. So son ki et on la on su kev lo yi son in cleono mi su mi castis fasi lepsi Catar barbar on the rumenos, get us on filaton, the atusta bru, su politema. Save, O Lord, O Lord, your people, and bless your inheritance. Grant against the adversaries of the faith and protect your people through your holy cross, your holy cross. Wisdom, Father, bless. Blessed are you, Christ our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and a truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Glory to the Father and the Son. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and a truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the universal elevation of which we are celebrating, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anon, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. This is, as you know, <clears throat> this is uh, our, our parish feast day, or one of the parish feast days for the exaltation of the Holy Cross. So much like the, the paradox of the glory coming from the uh, um, in glory of the crucifixion and of the cross, but the, the spiritual heavenly glory proceeding from it. In the same way, we have a paradox that although this is one of the 12 major feasts of the church, it's actually a fast day uh, tomorrow. It's a strict fast day. So it's actually uh, the same as Great and Holy Friday. It's considered a kind of recapitulation of, of Great and Holy Friday. Uh, but Bodily, we're fasting, but spiritually, we're exalting the cross as already triumphant. So unlike, uh, well, kind of in a way similar to Good and Holy Friday, we, we recognize that 
Uh, it's the means by which we achieve glory. <clears throat> so I hope you join us tomorrow for the liturgy, Orthros at 8.30, liturgy at 9.30, and then at the end we have the procession with the Holy Cross. God bless you all.